Hello everybody, my name's Liz and I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. It's really lovely to have you here. So today's video is going to be a roundup of what I've been sewing in June. So June was a mixed bag for me. I've sewn a few bits for me, but mainly I sewed for other people. Um, I've got a couple of things that I am including in this video that aren't finished and when I get to them I'll, ex I'll explain why. Um, if you watched my June plans, my June sewing plans video, you'll know that I set myself quite a lot of things to get through and I did not get all of those things done. Um, if you watched my last video, which I'll link um, if you haven't seen it already, I do talk about how I was just finding things a bit um, difficult, I guess. Um, yeah, finding things a little bit difficult finding my anxiety levels quite high, missing my family who live up north, um, and yeah, just struggling with things generally. So my sojo completely ran away and I didn't do any sewing for about a week, which is unusual for me, because even if I don't do a chunk of time sewing, normally I'm sewing a few bits here and there. But I just didn't feel up to it. I felt really rubbish for quite a while. But I'm feeling a lot happier. Um, a lot happier because this beautiful necklace arrived in the post today. And I'll talk about what I'm wearing in a second. But this is from the lovely Lucy who runs Smile and Make. Um, she does the most beautiful jewellery. Um, so this was a pre-order. So I ordered it about a month, month and a half ago. And I got this one. And then there's another necklace that says uh, Reach for the Stars. They're both beautiful um, so I've been wearing that today and it really is making me smile and then I'm wearing quite an old make I made this last year and this is the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo and I'll show the pattern later because I've made a couple of them which I'm going to talk about I'll stand up so you can see so this one is in this beautiful peach skin fabric and then I've added I don't know if you can see but it's got it's quite a long skirt and then it's got a ruffle at the bottom of course it's got pockets and then it's got long sleeves which is unusual for me I don't normally wear long sleeves but um, yeah it's been really comfortable to wear actually today and I think the necklace goes really nicely with it so as usual I have got my little notebook um, this is a notebook I got for my birthday unicorns which is really cute and uh, one of my really good friends got that for me it's a bit of a joke present so I've written all of my notes in here so if I do look down it's because I'm just double checking things I don't want to get anything wrong so the first thing that I got up to, or these aren't in order, but it's the first thing that I'm going to talk about, is lots of baby clothes. So I haven't got any of the baby clothes with me now because they've all been gifted on, but I have got... I'm just going to pick up all the patterns because I have got the patterns here, apart from one. I haven't got the Sew Over It Poppy and Jazz Strawberry Sweatshirt pattern to show you, but I have got one of the sweatshirts to hold up and show you. Um, so I made, I've got a couple of friends, one who is due to have a baby, I think she's due next week, and then I've got a friend who had a little girl a couple of months ago. So I've sewn clothes for her little girl, Lily, she's adorable, haven't been able to meet her properly, but I can't wait to be able to meet her properly. Um, and what I did was I made her some sets, and again I've got photos on my phone um, just here so that I can remember what I made, because I haven't got them to hand anymore. And I used the um, Patterns for Pirates free baby patterns that they've got. So I made a couple of pairs of the petite pegs. And they look like this. Quite straightforward leggings with the waistband. Um, and you can do them in different sizes. Um, and they've got a really good um, size range for babies with that. So they start at premi, premature baby all the way up to 12 months. Which is great for a free pattern. Um, and you can do them at different lengths. So I did this length, the ankle length, um, and I made a couple of pairs in uh, three months. I'm just reminding myself because it feels like I made them ages ago. I made the three months size and I made a rainbow legging pair and I'll put pictures in of what they look like using some of the fabric left over from um, a cardigan that I made. So it's the Tilly and the Buttons rainbow striped fabric that I used. And then I also made a really cute, like, um, green, stripy, using some Ponte Roma um, fabric. And I'll put a picture in of both of those so you can see what they look like. Then I also made some of the tangerine trousers by Poppy and Jazz. And they look like that. So I made a gorgeous strawberry um, print pair with a matching sweatshirt and a matching hat and I'll put pictures in of what that looks like um, and that fabric was from Material Girl Laura and it's left over from a pyjama set that I made for myself 
Um, and I just absolutely adore that fabric. I think it looks really cute. And when I shared the picture over on Instagram, I did say, should I make myself a matching set? Would that be a bit weird if I made a matching um, like t-shirt jogger set to match my friend's baby? I don't know. Um, and I made a cute little hat, which I'll share the pattern for in a second. Um, and then I also made just a, again, Ponty Roma, but a navy Ponty Roma striped pair of the tangerine trousers. And there's two variations for this pattern. Um, good size range, 0 to 24 months for baby. And it's the Poppy and Jazz by Lisa Comfort range. And I made this version, so version two. So you can do version one with like the little feet on. And then I've done version two. And I did the nine to 12 months. Um, because what I wanted to do when I was making clothes for my friends is give them some clothes that baby can wear pretty much straight away or within the first few months and then clothes that they'll grow into you know to sort of towards a year old um oh I absolutely loved making baby clothes it was so much fun then I made a couple of the teeny beanies so there's three different variations that you can make I'm going to show you the line drawing because it's a bit easier so there's the plain the basic beanie just with a turn up and then there's the bare ears beanie here and then there's the knotted beanie um, and I made all three variations. Uh, one out of this gorgeous monkey fabric, which I got from so over it ages ago. I think when they were doing their fabric boxes, um, it came in the kids' box. Um, and that had cute little bear ears. And then I also made, I'm just looking down to make sure I don't forget. Um, I had a little scrap of fried egg fabric, so I just made a plain beanie hat out of that. And then I also used some striped fabric that I got from Like So Amazing to make the knotted hat. And again, I'll put pictures in of all these things that I'm talking about. I know normally I would have them in front of me and I would hold them up so that you can see what I'm talking about. But I've gifted them already so I don't have them. Um, and then I made... Oh, actually, I want to show you. I feel like I'm jumping all over the place. I'm really sorry if I am. Um, I also made the beanie hat in some scrap Frida Kahlo jersey fabric that I had left over and I did the knotted version. I haven't gifted it. And this is a really silly reason why I haven't gifted it. I'm going to hold it up and show you. Because look how cute that is. I've got children. They're older. I've got 10-year-old. Lola was 10 yesterday. And Ruby is nearly 12. She'll be 12 in September. So I don't have any babies to wear cute little beanie hats. But I just adore it. I couldn't gift it. Which I know is really silly. Um... I think because it's Frida Kahlo fabric, it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favourite fabrics that I've had in my stash and I've used. I don't know. I don't. I think it's quite eclectic. I don't know if my friends would put their babies in this hat. And it's such a cute hat that I just can't bring myself to gift it. Which is ridiculous. I'm sure I will eventually bring myself to gift it. Because um, like I said, my girls are older. I don't know whether it's weird to keep hold of it for when they have children. I mean, that's like, you know, we're talking 20 years away. Maybe that's a bit strange. I need to just let the hat go. But yeah, it's really cute. I absolutely adore it. And then um, I've made a couple of the Wheelap tees. Again, by um, Patterns for Pirates. And I love the Wheelap tee. It's got this really cute crossover detail on the shoulders. You can do the short sleeves, long sleeves, or you can put the little cuff on. And I did the cuff version. So I made a version that's like a mustard and white stripe. And then I also made a version that was like a monkey fabric. And again, I'll put pictures in of what they look like. Really great patterns. They're completely free. Really easy to put together. Um, like I said, they've got a really great size range for a free pattern. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed. I followed the instructions, no bother. And they sewed up beautifully. Really, really fun makes. And then the last thing that I made for babies was some strawberry sweatshirts. And again, I'll put pictures in of the ones that I've not got to show you, but then I've got another one in my hand. And again, I'm just flicking through to make sure I get all the versions correct. So I did a rainbow, a white and rainbow striped uh, strawberry sweatshirt using Tilly and the Buttons fabric. And then I also did a strawberry sleeved version with pink and red striped jersey from Like So Amazing. And then I made this which is unicorn, and my friend's got a little girl, so I could have gifted this to her, but I do think it's a bit out there. I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see how cute is that? And it's got the cute little cuffs, it's got the little hem band at the bottom, and it's got the little neck band. Um, it's adorable. I think this is six months, the age six months range, and it's the strawberry sweatshirt from um, Poppy and Jazz, which is by Lisa Comfort, the Sew so Over It range. It's just super cute. 
again, I don't have a baby, my girls are older, um, I just can't bring myself to gift it, which is ridiculous. It's super cute. Um, yeah, I'm hoping maybe someone in my family has another baby and then I can give it to them. I think I'm struggling to gift this and this because I just want to see the baby all the time wearing it, which is ridiculous. I need to get over it and give it because um, I think it'll be a waste to just keep it on the shelf, not allowing a baby to look super cute in it. So lots of things for babies, but I really enjoyed making those things for babies. It was really fun. Um, I spent sort of about a week and a half putting all of that together. Um, but yeah, it was quite satisfying and I'm really excited to see. Well, one of my friends has messaged to say that she's already received the stuff and she loves it. And then the other friend, um, I only just sent it this morning. So hopefully it'll arrive soon. Her baby hasn't been born yet either. So I know I won't be able to see baby wearing them yet. But yeah, it was. It felt really nice gifting something and making something for someone else. On to things that I made for me. So I've already shared this one, but this is a gingham deer and doe myosotis, which is one of my favourite dresses. I'm always talking about this dress. I'm just looking for the pattern in front of me. I'm really sorry if it's boring because I keep making deer and doe myosotis dresses, but I know they suit me. They're super comfortable to wear. You can play around with the shape of it and make it look different. So um, I'm just gonna keep making them. So here's the Deer and Doe Mythotis. And I have made this version with the ruffle, the ruffle on the sleeves, the button down. I did my usual, I omitted the collar. Um, I lengthened the bodice by about two inches. I've added chunky waist ties. Um, and instead of adding the mandarin collar, I did the um, hack that, Stitch Odyssey, I'll link her details down below, Marie from Stitch Odyssey, she shared an Instagram TV tutorial of omitting the collar and drafting a facing and that's what I've done. And I think I'll continue to do that with any Deer and Doe Myosotis dress that I make now because I just really like that look. So it's in this beautiful blue, oh there's a thread on there, sorry, uh, beautiful blue, so unbelievably soft gingham. And that gingham is from Fabrics Galore. I'll link it down below just in case they've got any left. I'm not sure if they have. Um, but yeah, I just love it. It's the perfect summer dress. It's so cool to wear. Um, it was really lovely to wear actually when we had that really hot weather. Um, and yeah, I'm a bit nostalgic with the gingham, I think, for the school uniforms. It's summer term at school at the moment and the children are all wearing gingham summer dresses. Um, the school that my girls go to, that, that's their uniform. So I should make them a gingham summer dress, really, so we can all match. Um, but I think that's why I'm obsessed with gingham at the moment, because it's just everywhere at school. So that one's really lovely. Um, I love the Deer and Doe Myosotis. I find the instructions really easy to follow, and it fits me perfectly. Um, I'll put all my details down below of my size measurements, because I think I make a 38 for the Deer and Doe. If I'm wrong, I'll flash it up on the screen, just to say that I've got the sizing wrong. Um, and then I also made another Deer and Doe Mysotis using this beautiful fabric um, from Crafty So and So. And this is in, um, so they gifted me the fabric and I'm going to write a blog post. Well, I have written a blog post and I think that goes live next week. So I'm just going to share a snippet of this fabric. It's beautiful. Um, again, usual uh, modifications. So I drafted my own facing for this um, so it doesn't have the mandarin collar. It's got these beautiful red buttons. From Felicity Fabrics. Um, I've got the waist ties, where are they? Yep, waist ties. It's got the flutter on the sleeve and then it's got the ruffle on the hem. Um, and I'll put pictures in of me in that dress but there will be a blog post on the Crafty So and So website soon and I'll let you know when that goes live. And then one of my jobs I wanted to do was mend. So I wanted to try and let out my sew over it Leah dress because it was tight across the bust. I haven't got around to doing that because I know that it's going to be um, quite a tricky adjustment to make because there's a lot of seams that I've got to let out and he's to play around with the bust starts. There were so many suggestions on what to do with um, allowing a bit more space across my bust with that. So I just wanna do a bit more research with that one and take my time because I absolutely adore that dress so I don't wanna ruin it. Then the other um, mend that I wanted to do was my Sew Over It um, Kate dress, which is in this beautiful fabric, which I got from a Sew Haley Jane box. Um, and I was saying in my June plans video, and I'll link it down below if you haven't watched it, that I don't wear this dress anymore because of the slits. 
So it had quite high slits in the skirt. I think there were four of them in total and I just never wore it. I love the fabric. I love the style of the dress. So um, I'll put a line drawing in. I haven't actually got the line drawing in front of me, but I'll put a line drawing in of what the cape dress looks like. But it's got the um, collar and it's also got the collar stand um, and it's got buttons and then a hidden button placket which is a really cute detail, and this really full skirt, and it's got an invisible zip down the side as well. So it's a lovely dress, but the slits just made it a little bit too risque for me, so I never really enjoyed wearing it. Um, and then when I was having a clear out of my wardrobe and just putting sort of some of my winter things away, I came across it again and thought, what a shame that I don't wear it. So I sewed up all of the slits in the skirt, and I'm definitely going to get more wear out of it. Um, and again, I'll put a picture of me wearing this. It's a really lovely fitted shirt dress. I absolutely adore it. So I'm really looking forward to getting a lot more wear out of it now that I've mended it. So another um, make that I'm going to share with you is from a new to me pattern company. And I don't know if anyone else has heard of them. Let me know down below if you've heard of them. And they're called The Pattern Preacher. And they've got a range of dresses. So I think they've got trousers, a jacket, a top, and a couple of dresses, I think. I'll link their website down below too. Um, but I hadn't heard of them before, but they got in touch with me and asked if I would like to try out one of their patterns. It was up to me which pattern I tried. There has been absolutely no obligation for me to include them in this video. I didn't have to write a blog post or anything like that for them. They just got in touch and said, would I like a pattern for free? Um, so I said, yes, of course. So this is the pattern that I chose and it's called the Gabby dress. And I am gonna do a full review of this pattern. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail in this video because I think because they're a new pattern company, it's a different style of dress to me. I do want to go into a bit more detail about what I did to make the dress. But this is the style of dress. So it's a slightly off the shoulder um, style and then it's got these box pleats in the front. I'm trying to see if there's a line drawing. Aha! There is a slight line drawing there. It's got these box pleats in the front and then it's got a zip going down the centre back and then the sleeves are sort of just past the elbow. Um, and the reason I was drawn to this dress is because it's completely different to anything I've ever made before. And I thought, you know, it's going to push me out of my comfort zone to make something that I've not tried. It's not my usual style, um, but actually I really enjoyed making it and I loved the finished results. And I will put a picture in of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like. Um, and they've got a couple of other um, patterns that I've got my eye on, which I think I'll definitely be buying next month. But it's in this beautiful fabric um, from Material Girl Laura. Nearly forgot where it's from. And yeah, it's got these beautiful box pleats in the front, which gives such a beautiful detail to the skirt. And then there's the sleeves. Um, it's a really funny way of um, sort of stitching it together. Because obviously, I don't know, the sleeves get inserted from the front all the way around to the back. And because it's off the shoulder, you have to be really careful with that bit. Because some of like the inside can be seen slightly. But then it's got the invisible zip, which I was quite chuffed with inserting. Um, it's a really lovely, comfortable dress. I was a bit worried about the, sh the off the shoulder feeling a bit uncomfortable and me wanting to pull it up, but it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels really comfortable. So it was a really lovely make, and I'm really pleased. I've got another lovely summer dress to wear. So thank you to them for that lovely pattern. Let me know, like I said down below, if you've heard of them and if you've made any of their patterns. Um, it's always lovely to find other people that have made sort of similar things or if there's any other pattern companies that I haven't talked about that you absolutely love, do let me know down below because I'm all for finding different pattern companies. Um, so then I made, I did say in my June plans I was going to make two of these but this is the Kokowawa Craft Plum Dress. I'm just going to find the line drawings for you and well, this is what it looks like and I made this version but I didn't add the sleeve I just had the ruffle on the sleeve so it's got a dropped shoulder detail buttons down the back and then that's the skirt um, and I've used some fabric that I got from first for fabrics which is a double gauze in this lovely red it's beautiful it's coming up really bright on the screen actually it's slightly darker there we go that's a bit more of an accurate color um, and I adore this pattern. I love Coco Wild Crafts patterns anyway. I've got all of her patterns. They're just beautiful. What I love about this is quite relaxed fit. I love the buttons down the back and I chose to add these heart snaps. I just think they're a cute detail. Um, it's got pockets, which, you know, we all love pockets. Um, really comfortable, great for warm weather, 
great for school and actually I wore it to school when it was a bit chilly and I put tights in underneath and it still looked really lovely. So it's got this dropped shoulder detail and then the ruffle. It's gathered at the waist but it's meant to be quite a loose boxy fit and I really like the style on me. Um, and then this one finishes sort of at my knee or slightly below, below my knee. I'll put a picture of me wearing it anyway so you can see what it looks like. But I'm really pleased with that and I've got another one planned in like a lilac colour. I just didn't get around to doing it, sewing that one up. But now I've sewn that one, I think that one will come together quite quickly. Then what else have I done? Oh, another thing that I've been making for somebody else. So I've got a friend at work who's called Jo and she is so lovely. She always compliments me on what I'm wearing. She always says, I love your dress, where did you get it from? And I do actually tell her that I make my own clothes um, and she sort of joked one day I wish you'd make me something and I know I keep talking about how I need to stop making clothes for myself and make for other people which is why I've made the baby clothes this month and I've got a couple of things planned for my girls um, so I said to her you know I will if you want me to I will make you a dress um, so I had this fabric in my stash it's um, a lovely crepe fabric from Sumi Sunshine beautiful dots all over it and she had chosen the Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress but she wants the this detail with the button down back um, the ruffle on the sleeves and the ruffle on the hem and of course with pockets it was really interesting oh actually she didn't want the ruffle on the sleeves she just wanted the short sleeves it's not finished this is something that is not finished I need to hem the sleeves and I need to hem the bottom um, so yeah she chose no ruffle but it was a really interesting process making for somebody else and obviously it's not finished because I had to do a few fitting, um, Not there weren't fitting issues but I just had to do a few fitting adjustments I guess. Um, so I sewed up the bodice and then I took it into work just for her to try the bodice on to check that the darts were where they need to be. And then I added the skirt and the pockets and the ruffle and I took it back into work um, to check that the pockets were where she wanted them to be and that the length was fine for her because she's she's a lot shorter than I am so I already took a couple of inches off the skirt anyway um, and I took about half an inch off the ruffle took it back in and she absolutely loves it so now I can just get it finished and it won't won't take too long I've just got to hem the sleeves and hem the bottom and then I had some beautiful buttons from Felicity Fabrics again and it's these mother of pearl buttons which I absolutely adore so I had enough of those for the back of the indigo um, so yeah, I can't wait to get that finished actually and take it in for her to wear. It's really lovely, gorgeous drape to this fabric, it's beautiful quality from Sumi Sunshine. Um, so again, it's been really fun making something for somebody else, I've really enjoyed it. Then I've got two more things to show you and then I think I'm done. The next one is a um, Park Lane dress. I haven't got the line drawings. I'll put pictures in of what the line drawings look like. And I will also put pictures in of me wearing this. This is a make that I was going to do anyway, but the fabric was given to me in return for a blog post from Felicity Fabrics. And I absolutely adore Felicity Fabrics. Again, I'm not going into a huge amount of detail with this one, just because I'm going to do a review of Felicity Fabrics and the Park Lane dress as a vlog. So that will be coming up shortly. Um, but it's in this beautiful fabric. I've shared this quite a few times on my videos, but it really is the most beautiful viscose. Lovely drape, really soft, um, in this beautiful baby blue. And then these sort of splodged dots, I guess, like painted on dots. Um, I love the Park Lane dress. I think it sews up beautifully. It's got this lovely keyhole back detail. Um, the sleeves are meant to finish with a cuff. One thing that I did do differently was I added some elastic to the sleeves here so that they are a bit poofier. And again, I'll put pictures in of what they look like. Um, but it was an absolute dream to sew up. I did a straight size eight, no adjustments, fits me beautifully. And it's got a side zip as well. Um, so I absolutely adore the Park Lane dress. I've made quite a few of them anyway. And this fabric is just beautiful. So that's gonna be another lovely summer dress. And then the last thing that I made, I'll just get it finished. This is a whim make, I guess. Um, when I was having a bit of a down week and just feeling a bit rubbish, I had a weekend where I was just really tearful on and off. 
Um, and I allowed myself to feel all of that, you know, it's great. And I've got a wonderful husband who was really helpful and really supportive and allowed me the time that I needed to feel like that. Um, but I needed to do something to snap out of it. And I had this beautiful fabric arrive from Material Girl Laura. So pretty, I love that colour. Um, and I just had an idea in my head as soon as the fabric arrived that it needed a full circle skirt. So I've got the Sew Over It Betty dress, which has got a full circle skirt, but the bodice is quite high necked and then it's got a V back and I knew that I wanted a dress that I might be able to wear to school. So I had to look in my pattern stash to see what patterns I could try and hack together. And I absolutely love the Sophia jumpsuit, which is the Tilly and the Buttons pattern from her latest book, um, Make It Simple. And I've made a couple of them so I know that the bodice fits me really well. So I thought, what about if I hack the bodice of the Sophia with the with a, just a full circle skirt? And it's turned out, I think, really well. It's not finished because, because it's a full circle skirt, I wanted to leave the skirt to drop for a week and I just haven't got around to hemming it. But I've overlocked the bottom, I just need to level it off and hem it. Um, so I'm going to hold it up so you can see but it's the Sophia bodice, and then what I did was I cut the back in, in half, so it's two separate pieces, and then I've inserted an invisible zip all the way down, not all the way down, because that would be a bit strange, but sort of down, um, down to here, so from there to there. And then I've added the usual straps that you would for the Sophia jumpsuit, and then it's got a facing on the inside. Um, and I'll put pictures in of, the, of me wearing this dress because I had photos taken even though it's not finished. But I absolutely love it. I adore it. It makes me feel wonderful and it is exactly what I needed to make when I was just feeling a bit rubbish. Um, I'm really looking forward to actually making a few more of these. I've definitely got a few more Sophia full circle skirt dress hacks planned. And I also really want to make a few more Alexa indigo dress hacks out of some beautiful fabric that I've got. So, that is ev oh no, that's not everything. I haven't made this, but I will share. Because I did say that I was going to make jumpsuits for my girls. So, I didn't get around to making them. Like I said, I had a, like, a week and a bit where I just didn't want to sew anything. Um, but I have cut out the Tiger fabric for Lola and the Dash Hound fabric for Ruby. And I'm going to be making the, the Ikati Brooklyn Kids I jump. I actually asked for the ruffle version, which is this version. So I can't wait to make that. So that's going to go into July makes if I get the chance to get them sewn up. The last few weeks of school is always really hectic. So um, I haven't done any sewing for about another week. But I can't wait to sew this up. I think that's going to look fab. And I think that is going to look fab as well in uh, the jumpsuit. Um, sorry if it's been a bit of a rambly video. I feel like I've sort of jumped here, there and everywhere. Um, yeah, like I said, it's been a funny old couple of weeks. Um, my head's not really been in the sewing game, but um, I have enjoyed sewing a few things, particularly for other people. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're getting up to down below. Let me know, like I said, if you've sewn any of these patterns or you've heard of the pattern companies I'm talking about or if you've got any pattern companies that you think I might like. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.